In the heart of 13th century Italy, a humble priest named Nicholas of Tolentine lived a life that would become a beacon of faith and devotion for many. Born in 1245 in the modest village of Sant'Angelo, Pontano, Italy, Nicholas grew up in poverty, yet he embraced a life rich in spiritual depth and dedication. His journey of faith began after hearing the powerful sermons of Reginaldo de Montirabiano, which ignited his desire to join the Augustinian order. Nicholas's life was marked by an extraordinary commitment to prayer, penance, and charity. His actions echoed the call of 1 Thessalonians 5.17, pray without ceasing, as he devoted countless hours to intercession and contemplation. This deep prayer life was not only personal but also profoundly impactful on those around him. Known for his selfless service, Nicholas dedicated himself to caring for the sick, comforting the needy, and preaching the gospel with fervor. One day, while fasting and weakened by his rigorous penance, Nicholas experienced a divine encounter. Jesus instructed him to eat bread marked with a cross, a revelation that led to the establishment of the Augustinian custom of blessing and distributing St. Nicholas bread. This act of divine guidance underscores the importance of sustenance and spiritual nourishment, reminiscent of John 6:35, where Jesus declares, I am the bread of life, whoever comes to me shall not hunger. Nicholas's compassion extended beyond the living. He is revered for his profound care for the souls in purgatory. An account tells of him receiving a visit from a deceased friar, urging him to celebrate the Eucharist for the souls in purgatory. Nicholas's diligent prayers over seven days brought comfort and release to many souls, illustrating the power of intercessory prayer and the belief in the efficacy of the Eucharist for the departed. This aligns with 2 Maccabees 1246. It is therefore a holy and wholesome thought to pray for the dead, that they may be loosed from sins. His life's work earned him the title of patron saint of souls in purgatory, as well as the protector against epidemics and fires. His legacy is preserved in the shrine of St. Nicholas in Tolentine, where his remains rest as a testament to his unwavering faith and service. St. Nicholas of Tolentine's story is not just a narrative of historical events, but a living testament to the transformative power of faith. His life challenges us to embody the virtues of charity, devotion, and steadfast prayer, reminding us that our spiritual efforts can have far-reaching impacts, both for ourselves and for others. As we reflect on his life, let us remember the words of Matthew 25:40. Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. Nicholas's legacy calls us to serve with the same love and dedication, making a difference in our world through our actions and prayers. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you.